everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Insta360 ONE R the modular camera system. But in this video, we're gonna focus on its time lapse feature, especially when you want to take a stereo night time lapse with such tiny little camera. So I'm gonna teach you how to take amazing stereo night with ease, but also I will share with you the professional time lapse workflow behind this ONE R modular system. My name is Xingu. I love 360 photography a lot. And on my channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master your one shot 360 camera like never before, including this Insta360 ONE R modular system. So now let me take you through that easy but also professional workflow behind that stereo night time lapse. Okay, first thing first, let's talk about what you need to capture the amazing the ONE R amazing time lapse with stereo night. So uh, what I'm gonna choose is the 360 mod and the one inch like a mod. With the 360 mod, I have a wider angle of view and uh, a full control of the field of view. And with the one inch like a mod, because we have a bigger sensor and we could also capture plenty of light during night. Judging from my experience, the 4K mod will also help you capture amazing stereo night. So it doesn't matter which module you have. And for the battery, I highly recommend the boosted battery base. I have equipped every one of my lens module with the boosted battery base and this one even with the u uh, metal cage for the boosted battery. That will help you have a waterproof capability during night and also will maintain the best battery life during the shooting. Only with the boosted battery base is not good enough to capture whole night. You also need more stuff to help you capture the amazing stereo night. Here is my basic setup I can show you here. This is my stand. Because capture a night, you're gonna put your camera to a very solid stable position. So here I'm gonna use this one is a Bushman Popeye magnetic base that has a quarter inch mount on the top and it, it is very solid. And I would rather put my uh, one r camera to some magnetic base and uh, stick there just like forever. This is a very powerful battery bank. It's Ulanzi Power Grip BG3. It has 10,000 milliamp and it supports quick charge. It could charge the Insta360 one r super, super fast. A boosted battery base together with a BG3 could help you capture at least 10 hours without any problem. I always use this combo to help me capture all the night photos. And here also I would highly recommend you can have a very small tiny ball head because to capture a staring night photo, for most of the cases, the sky are the most wonderful part in the video. So uh, you would put your camera into a best orientation so that you can uh, choose the best angle of view. It's, uh, even you take with the 360 model, you also need to put in a very good orientation for the best stitching quality. To capture with a very small tiny ball head is also very important to you. For example, when I put this small ball head with the U-Lensy Boosty Battery Metal Cage, I can choose different orientation and uh, even with the 360 model, I always put one of the lens toward the sky. And I highly recommend you put this lens that does not have a screen on the side to face towards the sky to have the best possible overall imaging quality because on this side there is a screen that will generate some more reflections and will reduce the imaging quality for a little bit. So always put this lens module towards the sky and use the small ball head to choose your orientation. And after all these preparations, this is my final setup. So I can put this magnetic base to whatever I want. Take a look at that. Yeah, and it's solid stable and you don't have to worry about the wind or anything else. It will stay there just like forever overnight. So yeah, a magnetic base. I think perhaps it's the master have for the whole night stereo night time lapse photos. So these are all the preparations you're gonna need for the Insta360 ONE-R time lapse photography. Okay, one more tip for you guys if you want to capture stereo night time lapse photography with the ONE-R360 build, the screen will, will not be turned off during time lapse. Although we can set the screen the turn off time, but when your camera is constantly capture photos overnight, uh, the screen will always shiny and in the very low light situation, even very small light that will 
ruin your shot. Two things you can do to compensate for this uh, problem. So number one is you can see uh, in the menu you can always set this brightness of the screen to the lowest and, and that will help you reduce the lens flare during the 360 shooting of the low light situation. So another very good suggestion is to use uh, uh, some tape or some clothes to cover this square screen that will prevent any of the light the leak into the fisheye lenses so that will get, help you get the best imaging quality and the result will be pretty awesome. Working with the, the Starlabs preset mode, one our camera will capture a series of JPEG shot that will take a very limited space in SD card. But if you want to have a professional quality, the best imaging quality during night, you're going to capture in JPEG plus DNG that will save around 700 raw photo that will take quite a lot of space. So be sure you have enough space on SD card. But I have to tell you, we can also use a vertical battery base like this with the latest ULNZ vertical metal cage for the vertical battery to have you capture the stereo night during night because for this vertical battery, you can also charge while shooting. So there's plenty of choices for you to choose uh, to capture the best stereo night photography. Now, the final mass production of the ULNZ vertical battery base is now released to the market and I will put the link down in my video description. Okay, once you are ready for the shooting, here is the basic setting. You can use, tap the button on the bottom left to enter in the mode. And in the preset, there is a time-lapse preset for you. Uh, here you can see that for the 360 build, the ISO will be set to 800 and the shutter speed will be 16 seconds because the 360 build have the f2.0. That is a quite a big aperture. And for the one July come out, the setting will be ISO 400. The export time will be 100 seconds. And here in the auto mode, you can set the export value or the white balance. One more tip for you, if you want to have the best possible quality of the time-lapse photography, just uh, scroll down and you can see one more button on the top. Here you can choose the JPEG plus RAW. Okay, one more tip for you, never forget to plug in play the Type-C cable into the charging port. So you don't want to run it out of battery and uh, have some PD during the staring night. Here you can see I am preparing for the staring night time lapse for tonight. As you can see, it, the sun is falling down the sunset time. You can see the beautiful sky uh, behind my back. And uh, this direction is to the east and that is the west so the sunset the sunset is very beautiful tonight and now i'm gonna put my insta 360 one hour i will take the one inch light come out for example and uh, show you everything on my setup some tips and tricks and how do i manage my setting to get the best possible imaging quality so now let's take a look at my setup Okay, now you can see this is my setup. I'm in the place where far from the city side. And you can see that I have put my Bushman magnetic base on the top of this giant monsters. That will be super, super stable overnight. And here you can see this is my ULNZ, the BG3 power bank handle with uh, 10,000 milliamp battery life. A USB charging cable, USB to USB Type C, and this is my one inch light mod with the boosted battery base. Here, with plenty of ambient light, I want to explain to you my settings and everything I'm thinking about this setup. I will go to the preset and select P0 Star Labs, and uh, here you can see it will automatically set ISO to 400, and uh, the charge speed will be 100 seconds for each one of the shot. But that is not enough for for me to achieve the best imaging quality. I want to get the best possible quality. So swipe from the right to left, scroll down in this place. You can see the interval time is three seconds, and by default it will switch to JPEG. But here I will turn to JPEG plus RAW. I want the ultra wide angle to get the best point of view. Set everything to auto to menu because the staring night the light is uh, almost a constant overnight so 
I will just leave the ISO 400 and the shutter speed will be 100 second. Uh, the reason why I recommend the Insta360 when our boosted battery base is that when you are shooting while charging, there is an indication that you can see that indicates that battery is charging up. But if you use the vertical battery base, you are not getting this icon. Okay, this is my final setup. This is how I put my camera. You can see I recommend you put the screen on the back of the lenses to reduce to the least amount of the light pollution. So let's take a look at this side. Here you can see my composition. I will put uh, something in uh, on the horizontal line and to leave most of the sky to the starry night. And also calibrate the direction so the camera will face to the north so there will be a circle everything was circling around the true north star here you can see on the far side of the sky you can see the moon rise the moon is rising up uh, for, to take a starry night photos uh, i highly recommend you can shot uh, where there is no moon rise but here it doesn't matter because the sky is just so beautiful and there is no cloud. Leave my camera here overnight and press the shutter button and I'm come back here at around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and get all this amazing uh, time-lapse raw photo from the camera cart. Now it's uh, 7 30 a.m. in the morning. I'm coming back to my shooting spot. I'm approaching to my camera see what is what it's doing right at the moment okay this is my camera I'm gonna put all of my gears inside this my bag and take back do some post process and share with you the amazing time-lapse sequences okay once you have captured a series of time-lapse photo with the 1R with the time-lapse or the star-lapse preset. Now let's go to the post-process workflow. I'm gonna tell you how simple it is to create a star-lapse photo with Insta360 1R app. I have opened my phone and connect search for the previous used camera. Double check the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And after a little while, it will automatically connect with my 1R. But if it does not, you can also connect with the manual connection. You can see some of the footage right inside your uh, Insta360 1R gallery menu. I have taken some time-lapse stereo night photos right inside my camera and go to shot lab, go to the star labs and click on use this scene. Automatically select the photo sequences in the app or the camera and here I will add it directly on my camera and select one of them and the app will generate the preview video automatically for you. That will take quite some time but the result will be quite stunning. Okay and after that you can click on the preview button and see what has happened to your 1R camera last night. And you can see when you enable the star's tails, the sky is just stunning. Let's take a look at it once again. And with star tails, uh, the app will automatically merge by frame blending. All of them was done by, after that you can click on direct export and uh, also you can do some post process with trim or some color filters and also you can change the aspect ratio. Even have more options such as color plus, remove gain and choose higher resolution, higher bit rate and the maximum frame rate. And I highly recommend you can regenerate this footage when you turn off the star's trails because that will generate another kind of amazing content for you by the same sequences. Here you can see that after a little while it will regenerate the preview video without star trails. And after a short while you can see the result, you can see the moving stars on the sky and the moving Milky Way captured with the 1R 1 inch mod. That's pretty awesome. And that is how you're gonna get your star lapse video directly from the 1R app. Just a simple and just a lot of fun. And if you want, still want to have more potential with the Star Labs DNG sequences, now 
keep watching. I'm gonna show you the real professional workflow to squeeze out every one of the pixel, every one of the detail in the photo sequence. Okay, here now I'm gonna show you the professional workflow for the 1R Star Labs photo sequences when you capture with your 1R module. And for the 1 inch Leica mod or the 4K mod, you can utilize the DNG and extract the every detail from the raw photos inside your camera. For me, I would like to copy and paste all the DNG file to my Mac on the PC and post process frame by frame by the Adobe Camera Raw, extract every detail with even more possibilities as you can see on the video. And after that you can export them one by one, but that will take quite a long time. Remember to rename by a certain renaming criteria so that these imaging sequences will be captured, import to Premiere as the imaging sequence and generate a time-lapse video automatically for you. And for the 1R360 mod, for me, sometimes I would rather choose only a single fisheye and put the single fisheye towards the Milky Way and capture the whole night. Because for the starry night photos, actually, the fisheye lenses will also generate a very good point of view. And you don't have to always capture a 360 shot because uh, a fisheye will have a wider angle of view and capture the whole starry night with a, a better field of view. For the professional workflow with the 1R360 mod, I will cut only one of the fisheye and develop with the same workflow as the 4K 1-inch Leica mod and export as photo sequences into a fisheye, sterile night time-lapse photos, time-lapse videos, and regenerate, recrop in post to generate the content I want. So this is a professional workflow for you to generate a much better sterile night video from your tiny little 1R camera body. It is the best moment to enjoy your Insta 361 r the modular system, because now the N1R camera is very powerful and it is pretty good enough to have the photographer to capture stunning star lapse video with the time lapse photography tricks. And with the 1R app, it is just so easy and so fun to create a time lapse video. You can turn the star with star tails or not. And for the social network, it is just so powerful. So the Warner camera really provide me a new possibilities to create stunning night star labs video clips for my content creation and I like the camera very much and I can't wait to share all of the techniques the details in my creation of my star labs timeless video. So in this video I hope it will be helpful for you to capture your own star labs time lapse video. This workflow will also apply to the One X or the One X Mark II or some other camera like the Ricoh Theta Z1. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So until next time, bye.